I like the guy. Make of that what you will. Car Obsession is proudly supported by Exchange My Car, Carly and Draggy. For a limited time only, use Car Obsession 10 to get money off with Carly and there's also a discount code for Draggy as well, which again is Car Obsession 10. All of the details are in the video description below. So this is a car I've been waiting to get my grubby little hands on for quite some time. It is of course the BMW M240i. Let's just turn the climate control down a bit. So I've only got this car for about 15 or so minutes. So this will be a short, but hopefully sweet drive. Let's, let's engage the eight speed Steptronic transmission. And let's see what this engine has to offer. So it is a three litre straight six, which is very familiar for the M240i. I'm glad BMW hasn't downsized the engine for this trim level. It offers 374 horsepower along with 500 newton meters of torque. This will do zero to 62 in 4.3 seconds and the top speed, as you would predict, is limited to 155 miles per hour. Now, although the engine may seem very, uh, very familiar, one thing that is different is the drivetrain. So this car is no longer rear wheel drive, it has got the X drive system, meaning it's all wheel drive, which may seem a bit controversial, but given the right conditions, this can send all of its power to the rear, which hopefully I'll experience on this short drive. So make sure I've got it in Sport Plus. Oh, whoa, my word. That's not exaggerated, that is a genuine reaction. Now for a bit of context, I've just, well I say just, um, a little earlier, I drove the Supra, which of course has BMW engineering, a BMW chassis and engine and so forth. So it'd be interesting to see how this compares. I know this has more horsepower and it is a newer setup, but it'd be interesting to see what I think compared to the Supra. Now already, this feels more invigorating than the Supra. That's a bit naughty of me. Now, I am on a closed road, but I am still governed by a speed limit. So I can't go too mad, which is a pity, because already I want to take this by the scruff of its neck and give it a damn good hiding. And I can't say that for the Supra. If I'm honest, the Supra was a bit underwhelming. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about the Supra. I'm, of course, here to talk about the M240i. Now, the M2 is yet to come. So you'd have to make do with this for the time being if you want a fast two series. But I can tell you now, this is far from a compromise. Oh, it's really grippy. So I've got Michelin Pilot Sport 4 S tires. On the front axle, I've got a width of 245. I think the profile is uh, 35 and the diameter is 19 inches. On the rear, I've got 255. Now, of course, um, like I say, in the right conditions, this, this car can send all of its power to the rear, so that's why you've got fatter rubber on the rear axle. Let's speak about the eight-speed Steptronic, which is a ZF system. Like the Supra, it works very well. Yeah, very immediate, very crisp. It is a good transmission. Before you wonder, no, you can't have this in a manual, so it is eight-speed or nothing. Compared to the last M240i, the new one is around 10 centimeters longer with a wheelbase of around five centimeters longer. It's six centimeters wider and it's also around, well, I say six, it's around six centimeters and it's around three centimeters lower. So it's a bigger car, but it's lower to the ground. And that of course means a better center of gravity. Now the BMW team have gone absolutely nerdy 
on the aerodynamics of this car. For example, you have flush fitting door handles, you have an underbody that is almost completely sealed, and you have air curtains and an active air flap system, which has up to 10 settings. So the BMW team have really nerded out on the aero on this car. You get M brakes as standard, but if you want the uh, adaptive M suspension, there is an optional extra, which I'm pretty certain this car will of course have opted. In regard to starting price, if you're happy with no options, then you can have the M240i for £45,845. I do hope that's correct. I've got a lot of figures that I'm trying to remember. And so far, I must admit, without blowing my own trumpet, I am impressing myself. I don't think I've got anything wrong as of yet, but of course, I can always use subtitles just in case. Ooh. Trumpet blowing aside, what comes as standard for your hard-earned cash? The M240i is able to boast 19-inch alloys, M Sport styling, M Sport brakes, M Sports suspension, heated front seats, climate control, adaptive LED headlights, front and rear parking sensors, 10.25-inch infotainment system with a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster, to name a few. Brakes perform well, got no complaints there. Right, tight left-hander, turn it in. Look for the late apex. A little bit of a wiggle there. It's really grippy, this thing. I've got it in Sport Plus at the moment, because why wouldn't you? Now, let's speak about the more mundane things like the ride, for example. Even in Sport Plus, the ride is firm, a little bit jiggly, but it's reasonable, it's compliant. These seats are very nice. Maybe want a bit more support. I do feel like I'm moving about a little bit more than I'd want to, but they are comfortable. I'm not gonna take that away from BMW. The seating position, I've not even mentioned that actually. Can I get my seat a little bit lower? I do feel like I'm sat. Oh, oh yes, that's more like it. Yes, properly hunkered down now. Oh, that's a very nice seating position. Feels very sports car like. Right, tuck the nose in. <laughs> oh, squirrely under braking. Whoa. Almost locked the brakes up there. this is a proper bit of kit. If this is what the M240i has to offer, then the new M2 I think will be something very, very special. And anyone who's driven an M2 will know just how much of a good car it is. Oh. Now at this point, nothing has been said about the styling, which in typical BMW fashion in recent years has been divisive to say the least. To begin with, I thought the rear had been designed by five different people that had never met or spoken. But to be honest, it does look a lot better in real life. This particular example is finished in Brooklyn grey metallic, which looks okay, but the standout colour for me is Thunder Knight. It looks simply brilliant. Also, well done to BMW for not fitting front kidney grills that are so large each one has its own postcode. Bravo BMW, bravo. Well, seeing as I'm stuck behind traffic, weirdly, on a private road, I'm gonna slip into comfort, see how that is. And all of a sudden, this must have the adaptive suspension because all of a sudden the ride has definitely become more supple. The car is, of course, less shouty, less barky. The steering, even in comfort, still got a pleasing weight to it. And I do like the girth of the steering wheel. Nice bit of girth. Now, I'm sure many of, many of you know Joe Achilles. He's a lovely bloke. I know he sometimes, uh, he bangs on about the girth of BMW steering wheels, but... I like the girth. Make of that what you will. Speak about the cabin, because obviously that's going to be something you're going to be looking at a lot when you're driving this car. It's a nice place to be. Got nice silver touches, black touches. As you would expect from a BMW, it's been done very well. And what I like is, yes BMW, yes you are, you are in my good books. There are proper buttons for the climate control. 
It's a very little thing, quite literally, the buttons are small, but, well, no smaller than any other manufacturer. What I mean is, anyway, I digress. So many car manufacturers are moving away from proper physical buttons or dials or knobs for the climate control, and that really frustrates me. Nothing more irritating than driving along and spending what feels like the, the rest of your life trying to navigate a touchscreen to find the, um, the climate control. But no, I've got proper buttons in here, so BMW, thumbs up from me. Right, that last lap was a little bit anticlimactic, I'm afraid. I've got a string of traffic in front of me, but it's meant I can enjoy the M240i in a more serene manner. And in comfort mode, this is a very pleasant car. Could you daily this car? Yes, you could. Don't get me wrong. As I said, I'm I'm 99% sure this has got the adaptive suspension, actually. Yeah, this must have it, because I can definitely feel a difference, unless it's mind over matter. So, personally, I would definitely urge you to, to spec the adaptive suspension, because it, it just means you have a car that has a better breadth of ability. And I think you'd be mad not to. Of course it's money, but you know, if you're going to have this car on PCP, which I'm, I'm sure many of you will, then the monthly payments aren't really going to change much, are they? Yeah, very impressed. More impressive than the, uh, than the Supra. I know they're slightly different cars, slightly different components, but the Supra, I don't know, I just, I found it underwhelming, which may be a very controversial statement, but the M240i, yeah. Even from the get-go, it only took a few roll off the wheels, a few yards, and I knew this was, mm, this was something quite, quite meaty. Yes. I love the digital dash. I'll have to see if I can get, get a shot of that so I can um, overlay it into the video. A very nice place to be, but it's a BMW. What would you expect? So yes, um, a big thank you to BMW UK for letting me have a quick spin in their M240i. I do hope you have enjoyed this video or found it useful. If so, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. If you are subscribed, don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a video. But until the next time guys, be sure to keep up the car obsession.